What the heck is up, you guys? It's your boy Ace, aka Animated Heroes, here back with another discussion video. Today, we got some news regarding the SH Figuarts Jujutsu Kaisen Greatness line. And of course, you guys know when it comes to that anime, I gotta talk about it. So, you guys already know how this works. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because that always motivates me to make them. And let's go ahead and dive right into it. So in case you guys missed it, Tamashi Nations finally did announce the next figure in the Jujutsu Kaisen Greatness line. And it is none other than the villain from the movie Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, Suguru Geto. And in my opinion, this just absolutely makes sense. We got Gojo, we got Yuta, why would we not get the villain? So I am extremely happy about this. No, it's not Mahito. No, it's not Hanami or Jogo, which who really cares for Hanami or Jogo? They'll be cool down the line, but not right now. Anyway, this one I already cannot wait to have in my collection, and it seems like a lot of people are excited about it. Now, I heard rumors about this uh, probably about two, three weeks ago, but I wasn't sure, so I didn't want to put a video out about it, but I'm so glad that the rumors are true because, man, this is one I just absolutely can't wait to have. Anything Jujutsu Kaisen greatness, I can't wait to add to my collection. Now, I've already seen some people saying that they're worried about the articulation, how he's going to move, um, is it going to pose like a brick, and my response to that is I trust Tamashi Nations. We've seen the get better we've seen the naruto line we've seen the jujutsu kaisen line already uh we've seen how the dragon ball line has improved and they've just constantly gotten better and better so i'm just going to trust them and whatever i get i mean i'm fine with it because at the end of the day his clothing is extremely blocky you can't get this figure and expect it to move like a rebel tech if you're already expecting that i'm sorry you're going to be disappointed but once again, I think that they're going to do everything they can to make this figure move as much as possible while maintaining the aesthetics. Now, moving on to the accessories, this is where I'm not going to say I want a lot, but I definitely want enough. And what I mean by enough is I want at least three facial expressions. One where he kind of just has a neutral expression. One where he has his sinister grin that we see several times throughout the movie. And then maybe an angry attacking expression. In terms of hands, uh, I don't really think we need anything too crazy, but it would be great if he at least had one hand where he's holding the ball that he turns the curses into right before he devours them that would be cool to have i don't really see them giving him much else they're not going to give him any curses or anything like that uh it'd be dope but i just don't see that happening now if you want an in-depth breakdown of some of the accessories he can come with then check out my boy tf nuts video i will leave the link to that in the description below also one last thing i want to tackle accessory wise i do not see them giving him a head sculpt from the Jujutsu Kaisen anime. I just don't see that happening because as you guys know, this is a figure strictly for the movie, meaning that yes, more than likely we will see this figure again in the future, which it'll probably come out as a web exclusive again if this one's not. Uh, either way, time will tell, but I am extremely excited for this guy nonetheless, and I just can't wait until they show him off because I need this in my collection right now. Now, one last thing I want to discuss before I get out of here is the S8 Figure Arts Jujutsu Kaisen line as a whole. And this is a video I actually was going to make separate. It was going to be something completely different of its own. But since they went ahead and announced Suguru Geto, I figured I'd go ahead and tie it into this one just so I can make it easier on myself. Now, what do you mean when you say you want to discuss the Jujutsu Kaisen line as a whole? Uh, more specifically, sales for the Jujutsu Kaisen line. And I want to discuss my worry. Hopefully, none of it is necessary, but I still want to throw it out there. Uh, as someone who is a big fan of Jujutsu Kaisen and having been collecting SH figure arts for my favorite anime, which came to an end, I'm talking about Naruto, if you guys don't know, the Naruto line did end and get revived. I don't want the Jujutsu Kaisen line to end. And the reason I'm worried about that is because when I go on sites like AmiAmi, where figures usually of popular anime, more specifically, sell out, it really scares me when I see that 
a lot of the Jujutsu Kaisen figures are still up there. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you've got Yuji who sold out, Gojo who sold out. I think those two figures sold out off of the hype of Jujutsu Kaisen. But then we got Megami and Nobara who are both at a discounted rate on the AmiAmi website and still they haven't sold out. Something like that really scares me because the figures look good. They articulate amazing and I don't know what would make people pass on them, especially if they bought Yuji and um, Gojo. I can't believe I almost forgot who, but I can't believe that Megami and Nobara wouldn't sell out. It's like, guys, don't you want to complete the team? Now, that worries me alone, but what worries me even more is the fact that Yuta is still available for pre-order on Ami Ami right now. Gojo, I mean, I guess I can kind of expect that. The original Gojo sold out. Some people don't want to buy it for the new accessories. That makes sense. I get it. But Yuta, a brand new character? Uh, okay, maybe some people didn't see the movie. Maybe some people don't know the greatness of Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. It just released on Crunchyroll yesterday. I'm hoping that skyrockets those sales because I feel like at this point, if those figures don't sell out, and then they go full force giving us Suguru Ghetto, a brand new sculpt. Mind you, this figure is going to be a little costly. I don't see Ghetto coming out for less than 60, 70, 80, maybe even 90 bucks just because of all the sculpt work that it's going to take to make this figure, plus including articulation and accessories. So I don't see him being a very cheap figure. And if that figure doesn't sell also, it could be it could very well be the end of the Jujutsu Kaisen line. I really don't want that, man. Jujutsu Kaisen has so many great characters, so many possibilities, figures of characters that just are have not even been introduced into the anime yet, and you guys don't know about it. Now, what would suck really bad is if the Jujutsu Kaisen line comes to an end right after Suguru Ghetto releases and then Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 drops and it is, I can already say, it's going to be a massive success. Anyone that likes Season 1 of Jujutsu Kaisen is going to love Season 2 because, oh my gosh, I don't want to spoil but there is some amazing content coming. People who aren't a fan of the series right now will become a fan just because they're going to see it everywhere and then they're going to decide to give it a shot. So I really would hate for this line to end before we get the greatness that is going to be season two. So all that to say this, guys, please support the Jujutsu Kaisen line. If you're thinking about getting these figures, pick them up. You can always sell them and get your money back later. It's not like it's something you have to keep or that you're stuck with. If you love a line, if you love an anime, support the releases. That is what's going to keep us getting these. And like I said, this was supposed to be a separate video, but I feel like I made my points very quickly. So either way, I hope you guys like it. One last thing I want to throw out there that I completely forgot to add to the last segment is I know a lot of people are passing on the Jujutsu Kaisen figures from SH Figuarts because they've seen the Figmas and don't get me wrong, the Figma figures, they look pretty decent. They're not going to articulate like the SH Figuarts. You guys should already know that if you've collected Figma and SHF, you know there is a huge difference when it comes to articulation. Figmas look better, but they don't pose better. Now, there is one last thing I want to throw out there. Figma is known for not completing lines. Prime examples, Free, Haikyuu, Attack on Titan, One Punch Man, My Hero Academia, and countless others. I don't want the SHF to end and then the Figma versions to come out after we get Nanami, we get, I don't know, maybe two or three other characters and then it's over, Maki, Inumaki, and then nothing else and then we don't have anything from Figma or SHF. That just completely sucks. This is one of those things where I would say support both lines. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I will always do. If you are a big fan of the anime like myself, if you want to take your risk with Figma, then by all means. But if you're someone who really wants to complete the line, SHF is the way to go. Because as long as we support them, they are going to continue to give us everything that we want.
Now anyway, sorry about the long video. Uh, I probably should have made that second section its own video, but it's done now, so here we are. Either way, once again, I didn't mean to talk that long, but you guys know how I am when I'm passionate about something. Either way, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. And lastly, Follow me on everything you see listed in the description below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are and uh, bye.